I've known Kevin LeVrone probably before Flex Wheeler knew Kevin LeVrone. All right? I know him since 1991. That's how long I know Kevin LeVron. I remember when he was a kid up there fucking competing against Paul DeMeo for the Junior USA. Kevin LeVron used to take, like, bullets, handguns, and everything. Lay them off the floors, the big knives, an AK fucking 47, all that shit. Lay that shit all over the fucking floor. All right? And he would sleep on the floor with pump shotguns next to him and shit and everything. Sleep on the floor. All right? Six weeks before a show. You know why? Because he wanted to feel like he was in warfare. And Kevin's neighbor went to uh, knocked on his door, and Kevin opened up the door with a fucking gun like this. But Kevin was a soldier at war, one of those guys that yeah. slept with a gun and wore his fatigues. And yeah, I mean, Kevin, I tell us, stuff. I remember that. tell us what your what, what was going on with you getting ready for the Olympia? Because truly, you were out for blood. Well, I mean, we we all were out for blood, and it was just you know a way for me to. Um, find that uh, inner strength that I needed, you know what I mean, to to uh, go into battle because, I mean, everything that I've done leading up to every time I've walked on stage, it's always been like, if you make one little single, there was there was no room for uh, mistakes. You didn't have time to really uh, compromise and uh, go back and fix a mistake. So my preparation started mentally, uh, probably six months out from a show, Mentally, you know, I, I, would, I would, you know, paint these pictures in my head of what you guys were doing, you know, Flex Will or Sean Ray, uh, Dorian Yates, because we all wanted to be Mr. Olympia. And I, I would like study like tapes of Flex. You, you probably didn't notice, but I, I would like study how he moved on stage, his personality, what kind of like uh, ticked him off. So certain things. I would go through my mind, and, and then with you, I would I, I would always like listen to the way that you you know you would talk or you would uh, speak up and you would say things that was on your mind. So so I kind of knew what would irritate you too. So so for me, I had to put myself in this solitude place after my training. So yeah, I would go to a room. I'll have this certain room in my in, in my house where it was just empty, and when I get done working out, I, 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 that's where I would sleep. That's where I would do my uh, 12 week, 16 week preparation, and as I would sleep, I would think about flex. I, I, I would think about Sean. I would meditate about the show during Yates, how he moves, how Sean very moves, how he's going to present himself. But I would lay, like I had a Mac 90 machine gun. I had, uh, you know, my uh, M16. <laughs> I had, seriously, dude. I had like my nine millimeter. What's with the weapons, man? What's with the weapons? You were going to war with? Were because they loaded? Because it was like. When you diet, when you diet, and you put yourself in that war zone, you have to think that you're like a soldier and think that you know the suffering and the pain and everything else is going to pay off. So I didn't need it. I didn't need any food. I needed to completely visualize myself going to battle in war. But for me, it was a different type of war instead of grabbing them guns, but having the guns there and looking at the bullets and the ammunition and stuff. It, yeah. it was crazy. It just put me in that mindset. So I would go to sleep like that, wake up 4.30 in the morning, and the first thing I would do is go to gym. You know, think like a soldier, train like a soldier, be a soldier. Because, like I said, when, I, when, when, when it was time for like game day to show up at a show, I kept that mindset, and that's what we took. That's what I took on stage. You know, Kevin, and I remember crazy, Kevin. Right? You crazy? I remember <laughs> when when we would finally see you. I mean, you're, it's almost like you you're energized off of anger, uh, kind of similar to myself.